My name is Lars Grabo. I'm an associate professor in chemical and biomolecular engineering here at the University of Houston. Uh, in the broader sense, our group um, studies phenomena that occur at the interfaces between different materials or between, the, uh, between different states of matter. Such interfaces are commonly found in our daily lives. For example, they determine the performance of your catalytic converter in the car and in turn determine how um, clean or dirty your exhaust gases are. Um, other examples that uh, we are familiar with are batteries that you find in your cell phone or electric car, where the interface performance is directly linked to the battery lifetime and safety. To, uh, to understand these underlying physical and chemical phenomena that occur at these interfaces, we use complex simulations based on quantum mechanical principles and we solve these equations using high performance computing facilities. Overall, that places the work that we do in our group at the interface between chemistry, chemical engineering, physics, material science and data science. Nearly two-thirds of all consumer goods, including fuels, plastics, pharmaceuticals, or fertilizers, are produced with at least one catalytic step in their manufacturing process. Catalysts are also used to reduce emissions and pollution in the environment. The catalyst's role is to speed up the rate of a chemical transformation by improving the reaction kinetics and to avoid the formation of unwanted byproducts or waste. Current opportunities in industry are new or unconventional feedstocks, for example, shale gas, biomass, or sunlight, but they all pose different challenges for the catalytic transformation to end products. By using predictive modeling tools, we can combine any number of elements from the periodic table into a new material and estimate its performance as a catalyst for a new process. Experimentally testing the near endless number of possible materials is not practical, but with computational screening on high performance computing systems, we can narrow down the search space to promising candidates. The performance estimates, however, are only as good as the model, and we require careful verification and benchmarking of our catalyst simulations. At the University of Houston, we are fortunate to have a unique temporal analysis of products, or TAP reactor, that allows us to study the kinetics of real catalyst samples in idealized conditions. This is achieved by carefully loading the catalyst sample into the reaction chamber, evacuating it, and then dosing an extremely small quantity of reactants onto the catalyst and measure the real-time resolved response. In this particular experiment, we are studying the ability of a zeolite catalyst to trap nitrogen oxides, pollutants, from the vehicle exhaust during the cold start period of an engine. After the catalytic converter warms up, the nitrogen oxides are released and ultimately reduced to benign nitrogen and water. This data is possibly one of the best benchmarks one can have to verify or further improve computational models of catalysts. A different everyday device whose performance critically depends on interfacial phenomena are batteries. Any battery requires a positive and negative electrode, also known as a cathode and anode. As batteries store more and more energy in less space, the energy density increases and any failure to electrically insulate the two electrodes results in an internal short circuit and possibly an explosion or fire. Therefore, the Computational Catalyst and Interface Chemistry Group is working on data-driven approaches for solid-state electrolytes that combine high lithium-ion mobility with increased safety and battery lifetime. Uh, we generate lots of data to understand uh, material properties and we use machine learning to analyze that data and find patterns that we otherwise wouldn't be able to identify uh, just using human inspection. This type of approach can be used to understand material properties in all sorts of applications from catalysis to battery materials and energy storage applications. By combining various computational approaches with data science and experimental verification, the University of Houston Computational Catalyst and Interface Chemistry Group of Professor Grabau is determined to tackle novel material challenges that improve our quality of life and protect the environment. Mm -hmm.